Okay, Ralph. I'm, I'm going to have to resolve the, the doubt in my mind right now of a, kind of a competing picture of the merits of this amendment between what Carrie and Betsy have presented. And, you know, buddy, you came up to the microphone. You're going to have to pay the price for that because I need you back. You know, after, after the years of experience that I have and knowing how we got in CFAC with looking at financial items, if you're coming from your years of experience and, and coming to us as a citizen saying that you now have concerns about this amendment, I, you know, I have to couch my question at the level of, you know, probably two parts. Um, are there too many items in this amendment? some that are complete and ready to go and some that aren't and can work be done that will make enough changes and improve it enough that justifies you know a, a, a delay and you know returning it to the planning commission I, I would tell you that from a citizen's perspective I think that there are pieces that are solid now that could go mm -hmm. uh, there are pieces that i think have got some concerns and i'll point to the map you've got residential and you've got other things that are close there that by some of the definitions as i read this and i've gone through and watched the the tape playbacks and i've read through the materials that there are some places there that by eliminating some of the requirements we've got today, and, and again, we keep talking about 100,000, 100,000. Well, this is about 500,000 square feet. If you read that, that uh, uh, document in front of you, it's, a, it's more of a discussion about 100,000 square feet today, we're moving to a half a million, which is about 12 acres of ground for any single building slash development that goes on there. Is that, you know, you've got, in some of the yellow areas down there, you've got a high school, You've got the Loveland soccer fields that are covered and this stuff is next to it. And that, you know, granted, we have rights to use in the various zones in this city, but if you read those codes, they're very stringent about what is built, how it's built. And McWinney does build an excellent product. I don't take that away from them. I, you know, commend them highly for everything they've done for the city. But I have concerns that the way some of it's structured, it takes away some barriers that puts children at risk, some parts of the town at risk, Parts of this could go forward uh, as it's as it's uh, set today. I think the heavy industrial was the was a big concern of mine personally. The public hearing process, perhaps there's pieces of this that you know don't need to do the public hearing. Maybe you do it over a period of time. How it's you know if it times out, you know it's you know my glass you know my uh, uh, crystal ball is kind of cloudy when I look into it. Is the future uh, of where things are going? And yet we are, I think, to, as Councilman Clausen said, competing on a global basis. But at the end of the day, we all have to live here, and we'll live here over a period of time. And and no, you know, slight against staff, you know, the folks we've got here now do a good job. Who knows what we'll have 10 years, 20 years, 25 years from now if they'll be the same quality or caliber. So I mean, those are the things that give me pause. Well, and, and that's part of my expectation is that if this council is going to vote on something, is going to approve it, uh, that we should have the highest possible assurance that it is the right action uh, for at least a manageable time period one to three years perhaps um, I'm just wondering what are the advantages and what are the consequences of giving this back to the Planning Commission and asking the Planning Commission to spend more time on it and perhaps resolve any of the issues that you have now identified I mean are are is there any way to know that the Planning Commission would be willing to uh, to work with that or you've done a five to two vote and you know, we did a five to two vote but again as I said it was done pretty hastily and underneath that we had to get things done so it could be before this body tonight was the schedule that we were were set upon that, that had to had to be done uh, I think pushing it back to the Planning Commission yeah, it probably could be looked at. Would the outcome be different? It may be different in some conditions, 
but we've heard and we did not hear have the benefit of the economic development uh, from Betsy Hale at the Planning Commission meeting. Um, we did not hear those pieces of the components of you know where we're competing, that there's things going on. This is what we're working on. We didn't have that benefit. All we had was a cut and dried. We're making a you know ordinance change because we might build something here and we need a half a million square foot for each one of them instead of a hundred thousand. Have you identified substantive changes that this plan needs? Uh, have you had a I've, chance to do that, or does do I have not taken that in depth of an analysis, okay. Ralph? It was See, we, we went through all the different components. It was the pieces, the five hundred thousand square feet. Yeah, you know, was it was a pretty hot issue with the commissioners even before we went and met. Uh, it was you know the issues on the public hearing piece coming out was a concern, but folks were willing to give that up if you know. If if there was something going on. Uh, we had one commissioner, had a family emergency, had to leave before the end of the meeting, so he didn't get the cast a vote. So, I mean, it was, because we, if we'd had proper time, because the uh, challenge that was put forth by the promenade's uh, attorney, I mean, we did get it at four o'clock, it was 92 pages. I mean, it may have been netted down to six pages of summary, but we didn't have the opportunity to, to really go through. We had 30 minutes in a recess during the process of the meeting. Go ahead, John. Oh, I'm sorry, were you done, Rob? Um, you know, buddy, I, I'm, I'm just concerned that uh, Planning Commission might have needed a second meeting, oh, a continuation to, you know, really confirm any additional points that the two dissenting members had, points that the member who had to, to leave the meeting may have had. Um, I would tell you definitely that probably would have been the situation. Well, and but but I, I do want to make sure that we are looking at uh, you know substantial and critical modifications that you can mo you can identify in planning commission and act on. Yeah, I think that you, when you look at some of these these changes that are requested, I mean, you know, might be look at okay these parcels should be changed to allow that to happen for a period of time. These other ones that are over here, perhaps the discussion with city staff and the village says, no, we do, shouldn't make those changes for those ones over there because the fact, why would you change this area next to Mountain View High School into potential of being a heavy industrial uh, as one of the rights that's specified and that it is picked up that it can have a heavy industrial use. It's right next door. I mean, we didn't have an ample amount of time. We talked about it a little bit, but we didn't get the opportunity to drill down on it. So I guess I'm concerned about, you know, the quality of the work and the amount of time given to Planning Commission. Uh, I'm concerned about uh, what's been pointed about, about definitions and the choice of wording in the, uh, the description of uses and the, uh, the use by right, the use uh, following hearing. Um, I've just got serious doubts that this is ready for council approval tonight. That's all I have. Joan, you had a follow-up? Yeah, I'd actually like to ask for cl uh, staff clarification on um, why this was scheduled the way it was and uh, why it was thought that, that, the, that it had to come to council at this meeting. Um, I just would like that clarification. Craig George, Director of Development Services. Um, whenever we have a proposal like this, and we had worked on this for several weeks, uh, initiated, I think, as we've indicated earlier, by our Economic Development Department, we were very anxious to get it moving, and, and uh, we were as surprised as the Planning Commission was with the late submittal from the uh, attorney's office representing the promenade shops. We did the best we could, and uh, they did provide a very uh, accurate, we thought, summary, seven-page summary of, of their concerns. Uh, the Planning Commission did take a recess and review that, um, and so we felt that uh, it was appropriate for the Planning Commission to go ahead and, and make a, take an action, make a recommendation to City Council, which they did. Um, I think there was a discussion uh, of having a second city, uh, planning commission meeting a special meeting so that we could keep this on track to get it to city council uh, when we were proposing to do that um, so 
we feel that the the action taken by the planning commission uh, was given due consideration and the planning commission at the end of that night seemed to be satisfied with uh, their recommendation to city council it was a five to two vote uh, they decided not to have a second special meeting to give them more time to review some of the lately the late submitted material so we felt that we'd gone through the planning commission and had a solid recommendation from the planning commission on a five to two vote and felt it was appropriate to move it on to council so they did discuss the possibility of, of um, having another session and they as a body decided not to do that that's my understanding I would have to have that confirmed by uh, yeah. Yeah. okay they're thank shaking you. their head yes thank mr. you mr. mayor if I might okay. uh, ask mr. George to amplify on one other thing too besides the planning commission process there was earlier process that involved a neighborhood meeting and the results of that neighborhood meeting were then communicated to the planning commission so i think there was an important previous step that has not been discussed here that also was part of the process okay so i think um, we're trying to confirm that there was an opportunity for a second meeting if if the Planning Commission chose yeah let me let me uh, tell you what was discussed actually the commissioners uh, saw the package and they actually wanted to uh, continue this to our regular scheduled meeting on the 23rd of April we were told we couldn't do that we'd have to schedule a special meeting uh, so it was decided well we'll just do here and do as best as we can tonight uh, it was not discussed in a, you know, kind of a formal format. It was that, well, if you don't do it tonight, it's, you're going to have to schedule a special meeting because it has to be done. We wanted to continue it to the 23rd was the discussion amongst the commissioners so that we had time to give it a proper review. 